look at that! Oh my goodness me! It's absolutely extraordinary. This is the female sat on the nest, live. Look at the vermiculate plumage. It's so, so beautiful. An excellent camouflage. Oh, so, so good. Isn't it's it? so, so still. Oh, at I the know. Moment. Well, that's their job. They just sit absolutely stock still most of the time. But we have seen some activity throughout the course of the day. Ooh, oh, 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 a bit of fidgeting. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, fidget. A little bit of preening. Huge excitement. Open the it's eye. Moved. Reaching over its back. I love it when nightjars reach over their back. In fact, I love it when they do anything. But look at that. Yeah, a little bit of preening. And there you can see the context of the bird. Oh, no, I bet she's just going to... Oh, no, no, a bit more preening. Oh, delicious. Absolutely delicious. Truly superb. And there again, look, you can see the wing, every feather. It's not just about the colour, it's about the contrast. Because mammalian ground predators have dichromatic vision and as a consequence it's not just about the colour, it's the contrast. Perfectly contrasted to hide. But look, she's been active in the daytime. We've seen all sorts of sensational stuff like sitting very still <laughs> for quite a long time. But you've got to be patient. You've got to be patient. If you're watching this nest on our live cameras from 12 noon to 9.30 at night, be patient because eventually you'll see something interesting happening. She just cracks her eye open because a, a big eye, glassy eye, would break down the camouflage. And there you can see the tail looking like a piece of broken bark. And that cream patterning there, breaking up her outline, disruptive coloration, we call it. And we've mimicked that on battleships. And there, look, look on the right-hand side, the rictal bristles. Oh, I wish I could stroke those rictal bristles. <laughs> Honestly, they're like, well, we think they could be like whiskers, but they don't have lots of nerves at their base, so they're not like mammalian whiskers which could be used to help capture the prey. They could be guarding the very large eyes which they open. Oh, oh look, look at, at the that. mouth! Oh, the mouth! <laughs> it's enormous! A giant pink cavern. Just sensational. But those ritual bristles could be there to protect the very large eyes. And look here! Oh. She spotted something. Something, probably an insect, is buzzing around her while she's on the nest. Look at the eyes. Mick. It's, Mick. it's like it's like it's on remote control. That's oh, insane. It's just bonkers, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely bonkers. But that's how she finds her prey at night, and they swoop through the air using the silhouettes of large moths. They swoop up underneath them and take them. Normally moths with a wingspan of larger than six centimetres. Can I, can I just ask you an honest question? I want an honest What's answer. Do you, do you like them? Do you like oh, night jars? Goodness gracious, I don't think that I've ever seen you so excited. pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. They are extraordinary looking birds. And we have had a little bit of action, mainly at dusk and dawn, just before we lose the light. And listen to that. That is... That's a bubbling sound. That's made by the female. And that's the clucking reply from the male. And those calls signify a nest change. So the female flies off and the male comes in and takes over incubating those eggs in the nest. And then just like vanishes, look. It does just look vanishes just... into the heathland. <laughs> into the darkness. Sometimes we've seen the male returning and a proper nest change over where the females remained there to check that he's the right male. Look at this, female on the nest. She becomes active, she's heard him coming, he's given that call, he lands, look at the white feathers and then fanning the tail, oh yes. And she's able to identify him because of the precise white patterning in his tail. She checks him out again. What she doesn't want to do is leave if it's not her male. She's confident that it is her male, and after a while he waddles over and settles down on the two beautiful marbled eggs.